I remember that there was a record that my brother's girlfriend played back in the day, Janice, and it said, um, it was a guy singer and he was rock and roll Christian, and he said in his song, some people ask me, what's a good boy like you doing in a rock and roll band? And his answer was, why should the devil have all the good music? Well, that's not the perfect metaphor for what I'm thinking about, but it is a metaphor. And I think some people probably would think with me because they know Jesus is everything to me. So why do I put up things that might seem hostile to some people about the government, what's happening, the people that um, I call that old Fox Herod, and, um, and I go over this in my own heart a lot, and I pray a lot, and I really try not to go further than what Holy Spirit wants me to go. But I think there are so many people who are so, um, they feel damned if they do and damned if they don't, and they don't really acquaint themselves with any other um, information than what they get on the mainstream media or social media, which is highly censored. And so my real thoughts on this are thoughts of giving, thoughts of information informing people who are within my sphere of influence, thoughts of making sure that people have choices to understand what is really happening in the world. And so those are godly thoughts. My thoughts are not just a, I'm a troublemaker or I want to stir people up or it's like, oh, well, you know, it's an ego trip because I know stuff. No, I know more than I say. A friend the other day told me you're becoming quite cryptic and maybe I am because a good cause sometimes, you know, as Jesus told us, do not cast your pearls before the swine because they will turn and rend you. So there is a, a way that God requires some of us to be bold. He might not require it of you. That's good, that's okay. But some people really have no other way of knowing except for a personality that they might know on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube. They might know that person and actually listen when they might not get the information anywhere else. So I want to give people choices of what to think. I want people to know the nefarious causes that are happening. And I want everybody to look to Jesus and to talk to Jesus about everything. So it's like a, a, like a, a three-prong approach of what I do and why I do it. So it's spiritual, it's um, um, mental, and it's um, real life happenings. So I want attitudes to be um, for God. I want real life happenings to be understood through the Holy Spirit. And I want everyone's heart to know they can go to Jesus and they can get their own information and what they should be focusing on from Jesus. So it's all about Jesus for me in the end, in the beginning and in the middle.